Uh, somebody actually tagged me in something on Twitter that I wanted to play for you because I hadn't seen this clip and this this piece of audio before, but it is from, I don't know if you saw it, it was all over Twitter the last couple of days, from TNT, yeah. and it's Ernie Johnson, and it was, the, uh, it was the story about you in Phoenix, and here's the audio. Sunday night he did this to his coach Danny Ainge. Tonight, Robert Ory has himself a new team. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our Atlanta studios. Ernie Johnson along with Reggie Theus, and we've got the lowdown on a four-player swap. After serving a two-game suspension for the towel episode, Robert Ory was supposed to be back in the Phoenix uniform tonight. Instead, he's L.A. bound, and Cedric Sabalos is heading back to Phoenix, where he began his career. He made this trade regardless. Cedric Sabalos, we all know he can score. Uh, Robert was struggling in our system. I never felt like Robert felt like he belonged. What's your take on the trade? Good for the Lakers, good for the Suns. What's up, Rich? All, all I know is if you want to get traded, hit your coach in the face with a towel. Yeah. And that's bull, what he just said. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had not heard that piece of audio. But you have it? Yes. Play for, you, yes. for some reason, it surfaced on Twitter the last couple of days. I don't know where. I, I think because it's a trade deadline, you know, everybody I was guess, bringing stuff yeah. up. But it, it was weird. I hated Danny Ainge. I'm not even going to lie. I, I hate okay, him. so I was going to say, like, like – I've I've seen that clip of you hit him mm -hmm. in the head with the towel a hundred times, but I've never heard the the story, story behind it. All right, it's um, the quick version of he took over for um, uh, the coach and he became the head coach. And we never liked Danny Ainge when we first place because we just beat them so many times in the playoffs when he was at Phoenix um, and I was with the Rockets. And he Mario Elliott is one of my good friends, and one of the playoff games he took the ball out and just aimed. You know, Danny was a pitcher. He reared back and hit Mario in the face with the ball on purpose. And so we we even, the next game we played, we lost that game because all we tried to do was just hurt him. He would come off screens and we were just like, mm, we were like nailing him, right? Really? I remember I went up for a play and he went to block my shot. I let the ball go and I slammed it to the floor and he jumped up and you should have seen our team swarming around him like this and said, do something. And it was, and the refs was letting it go because they knew what he had did to Mario and got no repercussions from it. So we just was killing him. We didn't even care about winning the game. We wow. just wanted to punish him. And so then I get traded there. He becomes the head coach and it was no love lost there because he was just, and that's one of the things that people forget when you play against persons with people and they are assholes. And then all of a sudden you plan for this asshole. And it's like, okay, there is no love lost there. I did not like the guy. And it's a longer story to it, but oh, that's sure. just the compacted version. The that short version. He was just a asshole. <laughs>